Hi everyone. We're going to graph two cycles of three different cosine waves. These are the waves that we're going the cosine waves we're going to draw. And um, we're going to go fast on this. So if you didn't see my previous video on graphing all transformations together for sine and cosine, I suggest you watching that watch that because it's a little um, slower. The first thing we want to do is write down our new center line. So basically, we're looking at this portion. So this would be y equals negative 2, y equals negative 1, and y equals 2. My amplitude for uh, these are here. That's your amplitude. Remember, that's your radius. That's how big your circle is. So that's going to be 2, sorry, 2, 4, and 3. The phase shift is this argument part in here. Um, let's let that be. And what you do is you take opposite of that, so it's plus. If it's negative, make it plus. And it's right over left. Since all of these are 1, it's just going to be divided by 1. So this is just going to be pi over 2, pi, and negative pi over 2. Remember, your phase shift is your horizontal shift. Um, remember, this was positive, so I made it negative here on this one. And the period's 2 pi over b. All of these, my b portion, here's your b portion right here, is 1. So it's just 2 pi over 1. So my period on all of these is 2 pi. The next two videos I make, I'll do... Um, three graphs with different periods. So, okay, so we're going to begin quickly and draw these three graphs. Okay, the first one is um, f of x equals 2 times cosine of x minus mm, x minus pi over 4 minus 2. So my new center line is y equals negative 2. I'm going to draw that right here. y equals negative 2, I kind of move this down here, y equals negative 2, that's that line. Now my amplitude is 2, so from here I'm going to go up 2, which is going to make it y equals 0. And I'm going to go down 2, which is y equals negative 4. Okay, so we're going to draw within this framework the the length and the height or the height. Um, and remember, cosine, the characteristic curve, is where you kind of make a V and then you connect it like that. So my phase shift is pi over 4. That means I'm moving over pi over 4. Um, I shift it down. And I move pi over 4 here. So this is pi over 4. And my period is um, 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 pi to pi over 4. 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi. I've had the same denominator. So I'm going to end at 9 pi over 4. I'm going to have to erase this. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. <coughs> had the sniffles. All right. Now, I'm going to draw my boundaries for my first cycle here, and this would be 9 pi over 4, because we're proceeding at a distance of 2 pi, but we started in by pi over 4. Then you just kind of take midpoints, halfway between 1 and 9 is 5, halfway between 1 and 5 is 3, and I don't really reduce, I mean, you can't reduce on these anyway, but... Okay, then you just draw this characteristic curve. So the curve's going to go uh, dot, 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 dot. And then just kind of make it curvy. And there you go. Now I have to also go um, to the left. So I'm going to subtract my 2 pi. And when you subtract, <clears throat> you get negative 7 pi over 4. 
and you just go backwards. So we're going to go from, um, I'll just make this um, pi over 4, negative pi over 4. And then I'm just going to copy these down here, uh, but negative. And we get negative 3 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, and negative 7 pi over 4. And just kind of draw your dots at the appropriate places. So dot, 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 dot. Make it wavy, not pointy. And there you go. <clears throat> you just drew the cosine wave. Two cycles. All right. The next one we're going to do is um, f of x equals 4 times sine of x minus pi minus 1. Oh, my new center line is at negative 1. So that's y equals negative 1. Negative 1. My amplitude is 4, so from here I proceed up 4. I'll do that in different colors. So this is going to be y equals 3. Going to proceed down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is going to be y equals negative 5. Okay, I'm shifting to the right by pi. So I'm moving this, I'll just call this pi here. All right, and my period is 2 pi. So basically I'm going a distance of 2 pi, but starting at pi. So we're going to end at 3 pi. I'll put 3 pi here. So there's 3 pi. Now halfway between pi and 3 pi is 2 pi. And we're also going to need these values here. So what I do is I use the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is, I'll put it over here, is x1 plus x of 2 all over 2. Really didn't need the parentheses, but so I'm going to add pi plus 2 pi all over 2. So this is going to be 3 pi over 2. And for the, uh, this point here, I do the same thing. I'm going to add 2 pi plus 3 pi over 2. That gives you 5 pi over 2. Now we're going to proceed and draw the cosine wave, the characteristic curve. And it's something like that. All right. Now, to go backwards, we're going to start uh, subtracting pi over 2. And if you subtract pi over 2, this equals pi. So we're going to end at pi. And clearly, I did not label this right. So this side's going to be really skinny because I should have started in more. So I'm just going to write my pi here. It's going to be really thin. Negative pi. And I know the zeros in between. I know that this is uh, pi over 2, and this is negative pi over 2, just by knowing my uh, quadrandals. So I'm going to go down here and do this. And that's what it would be. At. What I should have done is started this guy a little further down, but I didn't, so I'll know better next time. Okay, we have one more, and the last one's going to be um, f of x equals 3 times cosine of x plus pi over 2 plus 2. So I'm going to draw my new center line at 2, y equals 2. My amplitude is 3. So from here I go up 3, and uh, this would be y equals 5, and go down 3, and we would be at y equals negative 1. Okay, I'm shifting to the left by pi over 2, so 
minute shift left and draw my new axis basically at negative pi over 2. Okay, my period's 2 pi, so I'm adding negative pi over 2 plus 4 pi over 2. Because 4 pi over 2 is 2 pi. And we're going to end at 3 pi over 2. So this will be 0 um, pi over 2. 2 pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And this one was a little easy because we're going by 2's here. And then you draw your cosine wave with your dot 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 dot. Just go down, back around. And now I want to subtract and go on the other side. So I'm going to subtract here and we get negative 5 pi over 2. So we're starting at negative uh, two, pi over 2. So this would be negative 2 pi, 2 pi over 2. Negative 3 pi over 2. Again, this is not drawn to scale. Negative 4 pi over 2. And negative 5 pi over 2. All right. And then you just draw your dots characteristic curve and connect the dots all right the next video I'm going to do is where our period is not 2 pi it's something different we have everything else that we had in this video but our period is going to be different than 2 pi and I'll probably have three sine waves again and three cosine waves have a nice day